Friedrich Engels wrote, let us not get too intoxicated with a victory over nature. For each such victory, nature will take her revenge on us. Industrialization in the West and rapid development in China have brought severe punishment down on humanity. As the contradictions between economic growth and environmental protection have intensified, China has faced a test of her resolve, courage and sense of responsibility. Across China, the number of wetland nature reserves has grown from 553 five years ago to 602 today. Under a national system of wetland protection, 85% of wildlife and 65% of higher flora communities have received effective protection. China has invested over 110 billion yuan in restoring her marine ecology in the past five years. In tackling desertification, by reducing the area of deserts by nearly 2,000 square kilometers on average a year, China has already achieved the goal set by the UN of zero desert growth by 2030. In 2013, China declared war on pollution. In both the Yangtze and Pearl River deltas, levels of harmful PM2.5 particles have been reduced by over 30%. In the fight against pollution, in 2016 alone, China reduced steel production capacity by 65 million tons and coal output capacity by 290 million tons. China is now the world leader in energy conservation and new energy usage. Everyone in China wants to play a major role in creating a new, green life. Tree planting is conducted as a nationwide campaign. 30 million hectares of new forests have been planted in the course of the past five years. China's total area of newly planted forests, at nearly 70 million hectares, is the largest in the world. For the country's children and grandchildren, and for their children and grandchildren, China promises magnificent mountains and rivers. By working together to green their home, her people are creating this amazing China.